Hi, friends. My name's Jordan, and you're watching Criminal Crafting. To get it right, trying to find some balance in my life. I never really put up a fight. Thank you all for being here today. If you're new here, I hope that you will stick around and subscribe and support my channel so that you can be notified every time that I post a new video. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. You know how much I love and appreciate you. You guys, today's video is on Lucian, and I have done a past video on him. If you have not watched that video, go back and watch it. I will link it down in the description. But Lucian is a four-year-old boy from Yakima, Washington that went missing at Sarge Hubbard Park. He is autistic, and him and his brother were rolling down a hill at this park. And his dad ran to the car to change the baby's diaper where he was still in eyesight of Lucian. And by the time he turned around, Lucian was gone. And from what witnesses have said, he was going southeast. There's a lot of bodies of water around there. But at this point, police don't believe foul play is involved. There is video, I'm not gonna talk about where it came from or where it was, that shows Lucian leaving the park in a southeast direction by himself. I can tell you that it is true. Police say it's possible something happened to him after that, but... Nothing leads us to believe there was any foul play in this situation. So yesterday, I came on and made a little short video saying that Police had suctioned off a portion of the pond at Sarge Hubbard Park, which is the pond close to where he was rolling down the hill. But it made everybody feel like there was something going on and that police had found him and that's why they were sectioning off the pond. So yesterday, Lucian's mom came on to the Find Lucian page on Facebook, and I will link that below as well so that you can get updated when there's things that are happening within the case, but she said the FBI is checking the pond like many other divers have already, like many other divers have already have. They have a checklist that has to be done and that's what they're doing. We will keep you updated. So that made a lot of sense why they were sectioning off that, that now the FBI is involved and the FBI is searching all of the areas that law enforcement has already searched because they have a checklist of things that they have to do. So I thought that that was great, that they're being super efficient and making sure that they're rechecking these bodies of water because I'm sure it's hard to find somebody in water if he is in the water. And sometimes it takes more than one search team like we've learned from the Kylie Rodney case and Adventures with Purpose coming in and finding her after law enforcement had scoured that reserve. So I think they're doing what is best for them. But there's been a lot of hate online towards Lucian's family. I've seen a lot of things about people blaming the parents for Lucian wandering off. And while I can understand to an extent, yes, they should be watching their child. But being a parent myself, kids are so fast and so sneaky at times. And that's a kid that is not on the spectrum. I've had moments with my own kids and I am one of those moms that we go anywhere I have to know where all of my kids are at at all times. They have to be within two feet of me at all times. I have so much anxiety going in public because I stress about my kids and where they are at at all times. I think Lucian's parents were doing the best thing in that moment that they felt like they could. They could see their son, knew where he was, changing the diaper, and were coming back. And he was just fast and he wandered off and having autism it's even harder to make sure he's not sneaking off and doing that kind of stuff so i just wanted to say on all of that that we all until we've been in lucian's parent shoes we just don't know what it's like 
to have lost a child, to not know where your child is. And we all need to be just a little bit more kind and understanding and supportive of this family. They've been at the park for the whole two weeks since he went missing, running the stands, handing out the flyers, out looking. They're doing everything they can to try and find their son. So I think at this point, we all need to send our love and support to them. So today, the FBI, or I guess it was last night, but they put up a post saying that Sarge Hubbard Park was going to be closed all day Saturday. So all day today. If you came to the park, you would be sent away. And I just figured that was part of the protocol and they're doing their search. And so they've cordoned off that park. But as I was looking into the group page on Facebook, Lucian's mom made this post. They closed the park down to the public because the FBI divers need their space without the drama that was brought yesterday. If you need flyers, please be patient. We have people in the parade handing them out the same with the state fair by the sheriff's stand. We will be getting more as well, and we will let you know where you can pick up. Thank you. Hi, right, guys. Sorry to break up the video. I have the worst luck in the whole entire world. <laughs> Yesterday, recorded that video, and halfway through the video, the audio went out. No idea why. <laughs> I even recorded another video after and that video I've recorded probably three times now. And there's been issues with every single one. So that one I will have to redo again. But let's get back into Lucian's case. So apparently going through Twitter and online and on the Facebook page, after seeing Sandra's post about the drama, I looked around and saw that there were a lot of people saying that there was almost like a mob of people that came together and were at the park when the FBI put up the caution tape, and they were kind of taunting the family and recording the FBI and all of that kind of stuff. And I don't know full details of everything that happened, but being a mother, if Lucian was found and all these people were recording it, that's going to go online and be online for the rest of your life. And I can imagine that would be terrifying and horrid and I know I couldn't handle it as a mom to have it to see the FBI ended up closing down the park for full day Saturday and part of today because of that they needed to be able to have the space to be able to work without worrying about people recording them or making it seem like Lucian had been found when he hadn't started rumors, speculations. Tell me what you guys think. Do you feel like they're going to find Lucian soon? Do you feel like he's in a body of water? Do you feel like he wandered off and was taken? Where do you think Lucian went? Comment down below what you guys think. Like this video and subscribe, you guys. It really, really is a free way that you can help my channel out and so I can get out videos as often as I can. I love you all. Let's pray and send good vibes to Lucian and to his family and pray that he gets home alive and well and spread his name and his face. You never know who it's going to reach and potentially if someone did have him, maybe all the attention would make them want to drop him off somewhere so that he's found. But one could hope. I will also post down below their GoFundMe. I know that the father has had to continue working and run his business as he's also been trying to search for a son full time. So if you have the money and you can donate, please go down and donate to their GoFundMe. Anyways, I love you all and we'll see you in a few days. Love you. Bye. Getting right. Trying to find some balance in my life. I never really put up a fight. And now I'm losing sleep.